What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and to my subscribers. Thank you for your loyalty and support. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below right now because we got a new video for you. And this video is going to be my little bro driving my Honda Civic Type R. My little bro actually learned how to drive a manual with my Honda Civic Type R a few years back. So by learning, he actually bought a KDM Hyundai Veloster N. Yes, a Hyundai Veloster N, which pushes about 275 horsepower, 5.1 seconds from zero to 60. Bruh. What? Oh, it's, it doesn't, he doesn't have a Veloster N? Oh. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> my apologies. He actually has an R-Spec. Now, Veloster R-Spec is not that bad. It compares to a Honda Civic SI. So it pushes about 201 horsepower, which is a good enough power to, you know, go where you need to go. But the problem with this KDM vehicle is it doesn't have the support like the Honda Civic SI with all these aftermarket parts from, you know, like the Honda, the K-Tuner, all these downpipes, front pipes, intercooler. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't have all that support. It may have some, but not too uh, many uh, tuners probably support that platform. But let's get into this video right now and see little bro driving my Honda Civic Type R. All right, we got little bro driving the Type R. Uh, right turn, right turn. We're gonna take the freeway. Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Oh, the last time I drove is before I got yeah, my watch. Out. Sometimes cars come down fast over here. Well, I'm faster. I see. I don't know, you're the driver, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, it goes fast, man. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> I'm already in third gear, fuck. <laughs> You never had me. You never had your car. <laughs> you never had me. Damn, the, this auto rev match is just, man. I think every car should have every manual car because like, I didn't. I feel like I'm not even doing anything. Let's go. Compare my R-Spec to a Veloster M, right? So it's a 
right here. But if you want to be up here, then drive this right here. Alright, there you have it. I'm little bro driving my Honda Civic Type R. It seems he enjoyed himself driving it. But speaking about the Type R, I wanted to get a little in depth with the FL5 that's going to be coming out very soon. Uh, I think it's going to come out around fall of this year. And with the FL5, I am getting, you know, a little mixed feelings. So some people are for it, some people are like, uh, it's, too, it's too bland, so forth. It looks too plain. Now, for myself, I'm all about technology. That's kind of my background. So to have all that new gauges of, you know, power, the showing the horsepower, the torque, also gauges showing the sensors of temperatures and so forth. I enjoy that. Uh, if you actually been watching my videos, I do have uh, my Honda on a tablet on the center top of my, you know, like the, the console there or the instrument panel and it shows all the gauges and I, I think it's wonderful now the question is when the FL5 comes out will I be getting it so hmm that is a very good question I've spoken to many people uh, many good friends of mine that uh, know that I have the FK8 and they always ask me are you going to get the FL5 now I may get it now I'm only going to get it if if and only it's the right price at the right time and what i mean by that the right price meaning it's not overly priced i mean we all know there's that add-on fee that everyone's paying 10 fifteen thousand dollars more than they should and for myself when i bought my fk8 i paid three thousand over msrp but included was a tent also low jack and a one year of oil changes so you know in a way it balanced out somewhat so if i do get the fl5 i want it to be somewhat the same deal now if now if there's like a ten thousand markup and above oh well, yeah most likely i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna keep the fk8 and modify it more because i am missing a few things which includes the turbo inlet pipe also the fuel injectors and fuel pump itself and once I do that, then probably throw in a bigger turbo, uh, especially the 271 turbo. So if I keep the FK8, I will probably be doing that. But if the FL5, like I said, is the good price at the right time and so forth, then I will build it FL5 and We'll probably do new content on the buildup of that FL5. But I'd like to know your thoughts on the FL5. What do you think? Should I pursue on the FL5 when it comes out this fall? Or just hang on to my FK8 because that platform is probably one of the best platforms for a Type R. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, the ups, the downs, negative positives of uh, having the FL5 or keeping the FK8, so forth. Well, that's what's up for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But for now, keep smiling, be safe, and always stay good. Peace. But I really thought he had a Veloster N, dude. Like, for real, like, I thought it was. I mean, he has a spoiler with a Veloster N and stuff. But it's not, for real, it's not. Damn. It's too bad. I guess I gotta convince him to get a Type 4. That's all I gotta say. Little bro, get a Type 4.